students welcome back and today we are going to discussing about how to select a drop down values in appm python okay and here is basically uh, in appm we don't have any uh, selecting a drop down value and all directly we can able to click and we can able to select it okay one thing and also this is not recommended to click that particular one and choose directly and um, but even we can able to use for, for loop and we can able to go for selection these are the two ways we can able to Okay, and the thing is direct selection is very uh, not recommended in the real time, but practicing time we can able to do it. But main things like we can able to do for for loop and then we can able to choose the proper value and then we can able to click it. Like this we can able to choose, even we can able to use for some default value click and then we can provide. That is the way it will reduce to failure cases, okay. Then how we can able to do and which one we can do. See by practicing purpose, I just am going to use for contacts. Okay. In the contacts, again, we are going to click for this particular element. And then we are going to click for this mobile. And here we can able to choose for any one of them to click. Okay. This is the one we are going to do. Okay. And before that, what we need to do, we need to get for app activity and app package and app activity. How we need to get for app activity and have package. See, basically for this, we need to use for this comments. And we need to open for new cell script, okay? New uh, command uh, prompt. Then we need to use for ADB shell, okay? ADB shell, okay? I'm going to copy this command and keep it in here, ADB shell. Okay, once you've done this one and it will ask you for another command to write. And this is the command you have to write it. Okay, once you've done this particular one and you can able to get it for app package and app activity. Okay, this is the app package and remaining one app activity. Okay, these are the th uh, three things you have to do it. Once you've done this particular one, before that one thing, remember one thing. And this one before getting, you have to open your emulator and you have to open for that particular contacts app. Not only contacts app, if you are opening for Chrome or if you are opening for any other app, that could be a great. Okay, why means which is the app you are going to work that particular drop down one, that particular app should be open. Then only this, this particular second script will be work. Otherwise, it will not work. Remember that, okay? Open that particular app and do for command. Then only you can able to get it. Once you get right, then open for here and uh, do it for like uh, create one new file and here add this, all the steps. And here is desired capabilities is basically, okay? And here is that URL and we are going to do for remote uh, URL to hitting for the driver and this is the capability we are loading okay and this is the accessibility for creating uh, like and this particular uh, this one okay and even you can see here we can connect the session and you will see And this red mark is that once you click the plus mark, you can able to say accessibility create new contacts. That is the one I have used here, accessibility ID. And then I'm going to use for cancel button because once you click that uh, particular plus symbol, uh, whenever you new, right, that moment you will get it. Now it is not displaying, right? When we are doing for automation time, you will get it, okay? And that is the one. And uh, next step, we need to choose to click for mobile. Okay, because of that is a drop down, right? This is the drop down. And we need to click for this particular one and then we'll get it for this entire drop down, right? Then we need to choose from there and we can able to click. And we can able to choose for direct clicking and also we are going to do for, uh, for loop and uh, that also we'll see both the cases, okay? Now for clicking purpose, again, I'll go ahead here and I'll refresh now, okay? Because it need to open. And I'm going to click this particular mobile. Okay, this is the text of uh, mobile. It is there. Yeah. Then we can able to go ahead and take for some X path here. 
or else we can able to use for this particular ui selector also no issues okay and now i'm going to take for mobile because i'm going to take for ui automator okay l in text dot click Okay, and we'll uh, change the name also because same names not good idea because every time we'll get for some confusion. Okay, after that, I'll click here together and I'll click this mobile app and I'll open for a specter and I'll read the sheet. Okay, we'll get it this particular one and click here. And there is an index position also there, and also we can able to get the text home and directly clicking, and this also okay. For this, now I'm going to copy this particular one resource ID and I'll store here. And also I'll copy this one because we need to get the list of one to for loop, right? Again and again, not recommended to open and see. Okay. I'll create one part here. Okay. Now we will get for index person or X path of this particular one text. Okay. Both the cases is okay. Recommended. Okay. Anything we can able to choose it. Now I'm copying this one. Opening here. And I'll uh, copy this particular one and here. And this is my text copied and come back and I'm pasting here. Okay. And under UI, you have selected text, and this is the one. And here is my two. Because now I'm going to click in for directly home text. Okay. Because directly I'm going to choose if I click home text, it should be selected here. Home text. This is a uh, light color. Okay. Don't worry. And now I'm going to closing this entire apps now. Okay. Now I'll open for my terminal and Python space and we can able to tc04 and tab and enter now you can see here we can see for that particular selection this is a directly we are going to create a directly even you can use for x path to use that is the one also fine no issues okay ui selector is not working Your selector is not working. Okay, we'll take for export then. For export purpose, this is a text. Okay. Forward. Dot export and then we'll go for value and here we can pass it this value square base percentage and again equal to and double quotation and this one i'll remove square okay this is my export okay now saving this value and again we'll try this order name and we'll see yeah now you can see home text home facts is clicked okay even we have created a home facts, right? Now script got passed. Even you can able to see home facts, right? Like this, we can able to do it for our creation of this particular one, okay? Like this, we can able to do it. And another case is we can able to go ahead of for loop by using for for loop. How we can able to use for for loop? Just I'm going to make it for comment now, okay? And then we can go ahead and create for one for loop how we can able to create the for loop now i'm going to use for options okay and here i'm going to use for driver dot find elements 
not find element element means one and find elements it will give code two okay and here i can able to provide for npm by dot x path okay then i'm going to use for value and a single quotation and this is my entire path only one thing we have done right here copy pasted this is my resource id and this is my value okay i'm copying this value too okay and the replacing for this particular place now i have replaced make the paragraph type and enter okay and in case if you feel this is a lengthy and then you can make it for star that's also fine. both the cases are recommended only okay okay like this also we can able to use it okay then i'm going to create a for for loop list and in options colon and i'm going to print for all the list of ends dot text okay and then i'm going to use for if list dot text is equal to equal to what i want to choose this is the home facts okay home facts is my value okay that's i'm providing dot then list and dot click okay which is the one highlighting that you can click and then you can make it for break. Okay, this is my for loop to select. Why this is we are going to do, right? This is every time we, we are going to click that particular element. Okay, we are going to click for that particular element every time. And this is the one we can able to choose for for loop by using for loop. Okay, if you want to do more, if you want to change, then again, we can able to change that one and we can able to use. And here also index position, index we can able to give and we can able to provide that index position value for the X path. By using that also, we can able to click it. Okay, we can see now whether we can able to click or not. Now see, home tags, whether we can able to click or not, we can able to see here now. These open contacts clicked and mobile it is clicked. So it is provided for all the things mobiles. Okay, what are the things it is find out? Right, those all the information is clicked, and this uh, home facts is present, and now it is clicked for home facts and script got passed. Okay, like this, we can able to do for by using for. To do with this one and we can able to do this because if tomorrow if that particular home fax is gone we can able to get for in the for loop whether we are able to get the value or not if for this we can see and lengthy error like this find is not able to find in that but home box again we need to check all this to do this one is the easiest okay and thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you